Hi, welcome to Physics Teacher, the channel that prepares you for the Wanna Do Math and Science contest. This is a grade 12 chemistry, the Chem 13 exam contest question. And it asks for the empirical formula for a compound that has a composition of 66.64% carbon, 7.45% hydrogen, and 25.91% nitrogen by mass. Give it a try, and I'll be right back with the solution. All right, so what we're going to do to find the empirical formula is we're going to find how many moles of carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen there are, and then figure out what that mole ratio is between carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen. Now to figure out how many moles there are, you could work with the percentages, but it's a lot easier to assume an amount. So what we're going to do is assume that we have 100 grams of this compound, whatever that compound may be. Now it doesn't really matter how much you assume. You could do 100 grams, 200 grams. In the end, the ratio will always be the same no matter what you assume. So let's start with carbon. So carbon has 66.64% composition. Now if we had 100 grams, that would mean we would have 66.64 grams of that would be carbon. See, that's why 100 grams is a lot easier to work with. And then we're going to divide that by its molar mass to figure out how many moles of carbon we have. Now the molar mass you get from your periodic table. And in this case for carbon, it is 12.01 grams per mole. So when we do that, we calculate that there is 5.5 moles of carbon. Now we're gonna do the same thing for hydrogen next. So for hydrogen, we have 7.45%, and that percent of 100 grams would exactly be 7.45 grams. And if we divide that by the molar mass from our periodic table, which is 1.01 grams per mole, we get about 7.4 moles. And lastly, we'll do the same thing for nitrogen. Now for nitrogen, we have 25.91. So that is 25.91 grams. Divided by its molar mass, which you get from your periodic table, and which you are allowed on this contest, is 14.01 grams per mole, which gives us 1.85 moles. All right, so we have these amounts of moles, but what we want is the number of atoms to see what our empirical formula is. Now the ratio then of carbon to hydrogen to nitrogen, we have so far as 5.5, 7.4, and 1.85. Now those are not nice numbers. We want them to be integers because you cannot have five and a half atoms of carbon. So what you can do is start by looking at the smallest number and divide it by itself so that that will become one. And then divide every other number by that same number, 1.85. When you do that, you divide 7.4 by 1.85, you get four. And when you divide 5.5 by 1.85, you get three. So our ratio then is three, four, one, and our empirical formula is then C3, H4, N1, or our answer is A.